Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm doing um, slow cooker roasted pork one with sauerkraut and apples. So let's just dive right in. It's real easy, six to eight hours on low or four to six hours on high in the slow cooker. If you don't have a slow cooker, you're more than welcome to put it in the oven at 225 um, for about five to six hours until, until it's done covered. Um, really easy, really delicious. I'm gonna serve it with a side of pierogies and maybe some veggies. And that's it, so let's get cracking and I'll show you what I got already cut up and already browned. So in my pan I added two tablespoons of butter and I'm just gonna brown my um, my loin. I'm using a pork tenderloin. Um, you can use just a regular pork loin. It's a little thicker, wider um, cut of meat, but that's fine. I have the tenderloin already, so that's what I'm using. So it's already browned, so I'm good to go. I'm gonna stick this in the bottom of my slow cooker, which is right here. I'll show you my slow cooker. There she is. Um, I like the slow cooker. I think it's great, especially if, if you go to work or you go out and spend the day out of the house. It you know Dinner's ready by the time you come home. So here's my bowl. In my bowl, I have already um, drained and rinsed some sauerkraut. You can use the recipe calls for the sauerkraut in the refrigerated section of the supermarket. I had canned sauerkraut on hand. That's what I'm using. So to my bowl here with my sauerkraut, I've already sliced up some Granny Smith apples. You can use any kind of apples that you like, but I slice them so they're kind of will be thin like the sauerkraut is. So I'm just going to add that to my bowl. And along with that, I have sliced onions also. And again, my onions, I slice them so when they cook down, they'll be sort of the same size or texture as the sauerkraut. So I'm just going to go ahead and add all that to my bowl. Perfect. And then I'm going to also add to my bowl, where are you guys? There you are. One tablespoon of coarse ground mustard. I didn't have the coarse ground because I'm slacking. I had Dijon, I like Dijon, so that's what I'm going to add. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of packed brown sugar. We talked about the packed versus not packed. You have to smash it in the, the spoon or the measuring cup, whatever you're using. That means it's packed in there. It does make a difference. And then we're just going to give this a nice little tossy pool to, to coat everything and mix everything up. And then once this has a good mix, I'm going to just toss it right on top of my pork roast, which has already been browned, and two tablespoons of butter. And then that's all she wrote. Um, you can add a little salt and pepper if you like. I'm not going to do that. I'll let my family add it on their plates. And then you're going to set it on low in the slow cooker, six to eight hours or high four to six hours, or you're gonna put it covered in your oven if you don't have a slow cooker at 225 or 250 for about five to six hours covered. And then you know, um, if it's in your oven, depending on if you have a convection oven, electric, gas, whatever, um, cooking times and temperatures might vary. Um, some convection ovens cook faster than others. Um, you know, the convection oven is the one that has the fan in the back. It circulates the air all the way around. So here's my nice tossed um, apple, onion, and kraut mixture. And I'm going to just toss it right on top of my loin. And then with this, I'm going to serve my pierogies, which I got on sale, so that's why we're having them. Okay, and we're all set. I'm going to set it and forget it, basically. I'm going to go out shopping and do some house cleaning. And I'll see you back here in a couple hours when this is done, and I'll show you what it all looks like. All right, see you soon.
Hi everybody, we're back. I'm a few minutes away from taking out my pork tenderloin from my crock pot. It's been simmering for the past several hours with the sauerkraut and the and the um, the apples with the onion and the Dijon mustard and the brown sugar. I'm just giving you a clue in on my what I'm doing as a side dish. I'm making some pierogies. Um, I buy them already made in the store just because I don't have time to make them by hand, although that would be really delicious and wonderful if I did. Um, so I buy them frozen in the freezer section. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, like a cream sauce, which is not the healthiest, but it's the deliciousness. So I'm just going to boil up the pierogies. And then um, in another pan on the side, I'm going to saute some chopped or diced onion in um, a couple of tablespoons of butter. So I'm going to melt the butter in the pan, throw in the onions, which I did, saute those up until they're translucent. I'm going to salt and pepper them. And then I'm going to add some heavy cream. And we're going to just um, um, simmer that until it thickens up a little bit. And then after that, you can add some fresh dill or some um, dried dill or... Um, or ground dill, just a little bit, just a little tiny sprinkle. And then we're gonna pour that over our boiled cooked pierogies and that's gonna be our side. So it's gonna be extra delicious. Um, that's the way my family's been making pierogies for the longest. And um, I'll show you everything when it's all done. All right, so I'll see you back in a few minutes.